Finding plans to tolerate foot traffic. It's really, it's sort of like poetic. It's like it, this. Yeah. Wow. No, it's wow. Not. Yeah, were you writing you know a poem? I will tell you this. I will say, no, I'll leave that up to Diane. She's great with poems. Um, that foot traffic area where you walk over all the time, you want to have plants that grow in yeah. that area, and it's a challenge, but fortunately, Shirley Bobshaw loves a good challenge. I do. And she's here to help us find a solution for yes, this. Yes, yes. And by well, the actually, way, can I just really quickly say how amazing you're looking? I know, <gasps> Thank Shirley. You. I, when we were in rehearsal, I noted I meant to say something, but. You can always take time for a compliment. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Right? You look beautiful. Well, we're out of time, but thank you so much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. But I look good today. That's all no. that really matters. Take us through what you have here. Okay, you well, here's photos. the thing. You would think that you could just use any plant that's short as a paver planting as we have our walkway here mm -hmm. with our beautiful little crevice plants but you know it's important some people don't ever plant there and it's a trip hazard yeah or they plant something that is not going to do well and a lot of people think well why don't you just use grass yeah right okay I want to show you number one grass if it's planted in little strips like that yeah tends to die it needs a lot of water. You need to mow it still mm -hmm. in between those true. pavers. Yep. And let me show you why though, grass has always been a steppable plant. Number one, here's some St. Augustine. Take a look at those beefy roots oh, underneath yeah. the soil. There's roots over the soil. So Goodness. stretch this. Especially with It's cushy, Augustine. isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Cushy. So when there's yeah. pressure on here, it bounces back, there's yeah. cushion. So there actually are plants that you can buy and select for your area that have a similar type of root system that will not allow your plant to die. It'll bounce back. And okay. I have some. What today. are those plants? Okay. Well, I have Daimondia here. If you like that grassy look, but you're not going to put grass, Daimondia is really pretty. It's got the green and it's got even little white little margins yeah. around it. So it glistens in the sun. Something about Daimondia also it, you see how thick this is? Yeah. So you smash it, it comes back mm -hmm. up. This is beautiful for a sunny area. I was going to say, can we just shade and sun too? Because yes. I had oh. some in both challenging areas. Right. This is okay in sun. Yeah, that's sun. I love the Blue Star Creeper. And guys, those of you who experience snow, good news. Blue Star Creeper will survive under blanket of snow. Oh, wow. It'll come back and it's beautiful little buttons, that's little cute. round, and it stays about three inches tall. And that's really the key. A plant oh. that grows no taller than three inches tall, because then you can yeah, trip yeah, on yeah. it. So that's for our shade Would area. you still have to cut that too, though? Well, if you don't like it to creep on top of the yeah, flagstone, edging. you may want to okay. edge it a little bit. Okay. Now, this is what we use in LA. This is the woolly thyme. Like, you know, time, like the culinary time. Like the spice. Like the spice, but I want you guys to keep in mind that woolly oh thyme that's used as a ground cover that's is time. not the same as like English thyme or edible wow. thyme that grows upright yeah. and long. This you don't want to step on, it's not going to be good. But, but could you eat this if you want you to? Because it you smells could. just like regular thyme. As long as you don't treat it with chemicals and fertilizers yeah, yeah, that yeah. are not organic. Sure. But here's the thing about this. This is a nice mat and it has beautiful little flowers. It, are not up yet, but in the spring, it's covered with beautiful pink flowers. Aww. But look That's how pretty, pretty. And, and, and it's very dense. And I, I want to show you how to plant this today yes, in our garden. Do. Okay, no, I want you to notice something. Regular plant, this is called a flat. The way you use these plants is by cutting into it, like, kind of like you're going to cut a brownie. Use a sharp knife, and then... You just pull it apart. I just pull it apart just in little like that. manageable oh, really? pieces, just like this. They don't have to be that big. And you have to keep in mind how wide each plant grows. Like this might grow, you know, 10 inches wide, uh -huh. this plant. So you space it that way. Uh -huh. But if you want it to fill in faster, you put them closer. So let me okay. show you guys. Come on you over here. Can we bring now, the flat? When you, yeah, bring them over. Shirley, when you say that, when you say you want them to fill in faster, is that going to be problematic later on if you overplant this? Yes, it can be. If it's an aggressive grower, it starts to mound up, and then you start tripping over it. Uh -huh. So here we go with our woolly thyme. I've got a trench here. Can you guys see this? Yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it where it needs to be. You can take off some of the soil. Don't be afraid. And I'm just going to place it a little I mean, bit you closer. You really just ripped it apart. Just like that. No rhyme or reason. That's right. And it'll just, just like take this. over. It'll just take over. And then I'm going to backfill it just like you plant and make sure you get the soil, you know, up to the paver uh, area so that it doesn't have any holes in it. And then finally, when you finish planting it, go ahead and yeah. put a little bit of your mulch on it, water it, 
and soon you're going to be able to walk on what it. What is the it's watering really cool. situation for something like that? Is it similar to grass? Uh, no, and no. that's the beauty of it. Guys, grass takes a lot of water. Yeah. Do you naturally have water? Good for you, but we don't. Yeah. A lot of other people don't. This is drought tolerant. And drought you know, if you, don't, cool. if you don't put Good. something in between this, this happened at my parents' house, uh -huh. weeds come up and it's impossible to get rid of them. That's exactly yeah. right. And how about with your high heels? Someone's oh, got to get the heels on the gap I know, and fall over. those high heels you get me that. every time.